Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is episode 12 where last time we went ever jail hunting, cleared out a few of the ones that we'd built up on the map, and then we went and explored the west area of Leonia of the Lakes. So we went down to the village of the Albanorix and reunited in the open world with Nefeli Lu, who is currently not in the round table hold, so we'll have to figure out we we'll have to figure out where in the world um, she has she has gotten to when we're not sure at this current point in time. Uh, we also uh, got introduced to Rodrika, which was here, but I've just logged into the game where we were uh, when we finished, and she's not here. So we're going to just quickly have a peek in with Master Hugh, who uh, was going to. There we go. No, is that her? Ah, she's taken off. Okay, she's taken off her red cloak and she's set up shop here. Okay, so she's moved um, now to be across from Master Hugh. So let's have a chat to her. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. I have you to thank, don't I, for persuading Master Hugh. That you do. I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish, but. If I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the spirit tune apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. All right. Roderica, the spirit tuner. There she is. Uh, with the spirit tuning menu, you can spend runes and glaive glove warts to strengthen the spirits you summon from ashes. To strengthen named spirits, you'll need ghost glove warts. Okay, so we can actually strengthen our... Ah, they're all there. Our equipped one, ashes, and special ashes. So Lutel the Headless is a special one that needs a ghost glove wart, not a grave one. Interesting. Um... Okay, so it just goes to like a plus one. Interesting. I'm not sure which one. I haven't summoned them or really experimented with them at all. Um, but I'm assuming the more expensive they are, the better they are anyway. And then they just only get more and more powerful. Uh, especially considering... Um, <laughs> especially considering the ancestral follower with that bow. You know, we've, uh, we've definitely dealt with... Uh, Dealt with some pain there. But this one's cool as well. Used to summon uh, Lutel the Headless. A lance enrobed in death and hurls spectral lances at foes. We don't have a couple, many runes on us right now, so I think just to maybe engage with her as a merchant, I'm just going to do the jellyfish into plus one. Maybe we'll do it into plus two and then plus three because we'll just go through the glaive, uh, grave glove wart that we have and leave it at that. See if she has anything to say now. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? Okay. I wonder if that might be just like sort of the resolved section of that quest now. Where you just can use her to level up the spirits. We'll have a chat to Hugh. Well, I took you for no matter if they out your arm. Yes, we can. I spoke with the girl. She has a gift for spirit tuning. So I told her everything I know. I'm indebted to a spirit tuner I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. Interesting. So, indebted to a spirit tuner from long ago. So he felt that that would sort of, like, make up for that, I guess. Uh, we got some informa uh, interesting information out of... Uh, out of fear last time in regards to Rogier um, with the looking at my writings inf information that went through with like Malaketh with the black ba uh, the black blade and the black knives stuff like that I am pleased. would you like me to the blessing is still a flame would you like to be held would you like to be held regardless I'm gonna just have a look and see if there's any any dialogue here to get out of her. The Marika statue in front of the Elden... Sorry, the Elden... In front of the Elden tree, the Erd tree, uh, is a very neat touch. Okay, we can ask her 
we can continue to ask her about the black knife print. Dear Roger, the ancient plot to the black knives along with them. Okay. Then good day. So she can still give us that little secret dialogue. While we slowly stand up. I got my... Can I, I can change my torch, can I? I can't lift it up because you can't... It's obviously attack. You can't switch stances or anything. So I can't lift up my my torch to see anything else. I wonder who that is. Dressing table. Where's a dress... What? Use dressing table. Is this the dressing table? Clouded mirror stand. Apply cosmetics. Oh shit, I can rename my character. Oh, we can change our appearance. You can change your appearance in the mirror. I can age myself up now if I want. We can age our... Guys, depending on how long your character has played Elden Ring, you can age them up in real time if you want to have them, like, move on in life. That's kind of cool. Maybe I want to change my dude's face a bit. I'm going to change my dude's face a bit. I will take this opportunity. Um, because I feel like... I don't, I, I don't like his forehead angle. Or his eyes. I don't like his eye shape. I'm going to change it. I, like, when I first made it, I think I was looking at it at, like, a three-quarter angle. And I was like, hell yeah, I like that. But when I look at it from side on, and whenever it's in the helmet and I see it, I'm like, I don't like the shape of it. Um... Face structure, eyes. I want to change the, um... <sighs> oh, God. How do I... I think there's something in particular about them that I want to... They look too sad. You know what I mean? They're very, they're very sad. I think it needs to be done with the... I think it's to do with the eyebrows. It is. Yeah, it's the, uh, the eyebrows, I think. <laughs> now you're even more sad. Yeah. It's definitely got to do with that. Big old nose. It's a bit he's a bit more angry now. Uh, I need to change the forehead. To be less pointy. Oh, let's see. See, I had the, the forehead protruding out a bit more, so it would be smooth, but... Oh god, you can make him very angry. <laughs> you can you can make that boy frown... Uh, you can make that boy frown quite a bit. Yeah, I think I like the eye shape a little bit more now. There's still something about it, and it might be it might be tied to the cheeks. Yeah, it is tied to the cheeks. There you go. I have the those are a bit high, so that that makes that affects the eye shape as well. I'll bring that ch those cheekbones down a little bit. Then you always have to, I always have to make sure to rotate it so I can make sure that I just am not creating a monstrosity from one angle to the next, you know? <laughs> it's like you got to watch out for you. Like, oh, wow, he looks really cool from this angle. And then you look at him front on, you're like, oh, I hate that. How interesting that it's like the, the average... The average eye here. You need to. I need to put it all the way over there. Maybe I just like messed up my eyes so much. I think they're okay. They look. They look good now. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna. I want to lessen his scarring now. Lessen the scarring of it, like maybe like lighten it up a bit. Be nice if there was a way to get it just a little bit lighter in a way that seemed. I just like maybe the. <laughs> we'll put the eye patch on. That's so cool that you can change. It's it's this is really great that you can change your existing character because maybe I'm I want to heal. Maybe I'll heal his scar and give him a, a tattoo in place. I was originally going to try and put a tattoo of an eye 
next to his eye because it was like blacked out or like a, a marking or a tattoo to sort of like be symbolic of like the loss of his eye. I was thinking about that for ages. Right, we're gonna keep this one. See, you can do the position, the angle, and the expansion. Maybe we'll heal it a little bit. But it'd be nice if you could maybe tweak the opacity because there's not another color here that's like nicer. That's fine though. That's fine. I oh, do not want to do similar face. There you go. I want to fix. I wanted to fix my. <laughs> and then discard. There you go. Look, guys. Now look how cool my face is that I can see under this mask that I have. <laughs> um, you can just change your appearance whenever you want. That's awesome. Love that. Um, considering the state of the round table hold has changed ever so slightly with Rodrika moving. Just gonna check again. Still just checking to see if maybe uh, Nefeli has come back. Uh, if not, I assume that just means I need to continue searching for her in the open world instead. Uh, I think we're going to leave now. Uh, something that I have to do. I have something that I have to do. I have to go straight to the. To, I have to go straight to the Limgrave tunnels. Uh, and there is, uh, there's, there's a reason for this one. There's a reason for this one. It's because I actually, I actually have this in my notes <laughs> to go back to. And I, and I keep, I keep forgetting. This is a note that's like hidden between all a bunch of lore notes, which is Limgrave Tunnels boss, question mark. Because we came, we came here last time and I, and I saw this while editing and I must have been super tired because there is a... There is a ledge. Uh, on this side! Wait. No. Oh, not on this side. Actually, hold on. Uh, I went the wrong way. Wait. Hold on a minute. Um... Because there was, there was one of these tunnels that I came into... That I was like, ah! Oh, there's no boss. And that's really strange. Why is that? Um, and I was questioning that for ages, and I went up a lift, and I was looking for something, and I found a ledge, and then found an item, and I was like, oh, maybe there isn't a boss in here. Um, I think it's... Which side is it on? Oh, there it is. There it is! It's over there! <laughs> Damn it. Okay. I knew it was on one of these ledges. There you go. Fuck's sake. Guys, stop, stop watching. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. I thought I was invincible. I thought I could make that fall. See, I knew that there was a ledge here. So there's a ledge just off to the off to the side. <laughs> there's a ledge just off to the side that I missed. Um because I must have been tired. And instead of looking you know, on this side or on this side, it's on this side. There it is. So there's the way out. Well, we just need to go... Oh, I can just do it from here. There you go. So there's a doorway. And there's a doorway there. So... Oh. This is... Okay. Uh, here. I actually made it onto this ledge anyway. Wait. Did I have, maybe I've written the wrong note down. I, I, okay. I think I've made a mistake. Maybe it's not the Limgrave Tunnels. One of the tunnels that I went to... Shit. I swear it was the Limgrave one. Am I going mad? I think I'm going mad. Um... Oh. <laughs> Times when you should just jump. But then you forget sometimes you have a dedicated jump button because you're doing Dark Souls brain. Oops. I swear there was a ledge that I saw. Okay, give me. So if I if I go and I'll pull up because this is how I found it. I pull up my ye old episode of Elden Ring, uh, episode eight. It's my eighth episode of Elden Ring, and about one. 
one hour 33 in. One hour 33 in. Hang on. Is it a different lift? There's not two lifts in this place, is there? There is. Because it's... I was over here. Okay, hold on. There's a different lift, guys. There's a different lift. Trust me. <laughs> so we're about one, 30, one hour 33 minutes in these Limgrave tunnels. There's a door that I missed. Okay. <laughs> you can tell that I am absolutely clueless when I retrace my own steps. That apparently... There you go. Okay. So it's this... <laughs> it's this lift. <laughs> Not the opening lift. Um, and I think it's... There it is. There it is. Okay, we're on track. <laughs> that makes so much more sense. Okay, it's it's this one. There you go. Okay. <laughs> we're all good. Alright, now I can remove this. So yeah, an hour and... About an hour and 33 in episode 8. I forgot about uh, this. And we can finally... We can finally check it out. And I guess I'll get some more smithing stones while I'm here. May as well get some more smithing stones while I'm here. I got a pickaxe. This dude's got a flamethrower. It's a flamethrower lantern. So bloodborne. It's so bloodborne. I love it. Nice. I can get some more smithing stones. I am curious, I mean, this is a good opportunity for me to also test uh, if, um, don't do that. Uh, it's a good opportunity for me to test if um, smithing stones come back. Oh, these guys are they're tough boys. Oh, there's another lift. Okay. Another lift. Which takes us to another spot. Now let's check for a let's check for another hidden ledge. <laughs> I just have to do that. There is. There's another ledge. I just have to do this when I move around these fucking lifts. I swear to God. I have to spin my head around in all directions. There you go. We've got ourselves the boss of Limgrave Tunnels, finally, that I missed a long time ago. Only a few episodes ago. Hello, big boy. Oh, it's just one of these. Stone Digger Troll. Hello. Wait. Ooh, hang on. Ooh, he's like made of... He's made of stone. He looks like he's made of... Harder, harder substance. Oh. I was really like, can I just kill this guy without getting hit? Apparently not. Apparently I'm not that good. Eh. Let me in your arms, boy. Oh. <laughs> or, or not. <laughs> okay. Wow, guys, we killed the Stone Digger Troll first try and got the Raw Medallion. Um, I'm assuming that will be a Talisman. It is indeed. Enhances Roars and Breath Attacks, a bronze medallion depicting a roaring giant. In ancient times, the giants were mortal enemies of the Erd Tree. Their bellowing roars desolated nature, triggered avalanches, and whipped up storms of flame. There you go. <laughs> Uh, instead of returning to the entrance, I'm going to take this lift to another, another level. There you go. Overdue. There's so many, like, bosses. I guess they would be, essentially be classified as, like, mini-bosses. There's so many mini-bosses, uh, in this game. Okay, I'm just trying to see... If there's a spot that we can just drop off. Okay. I think this is the highest point. Right here. Oh, or is this just how... Can we just walk down? Oh no, there is an item. There is an item. Golden rune. Oh, hello. 
Somber smithing stone on the wall. Nice. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Now I can leave. I didn't really have that many runes on me. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I do not care about that. That's fine. Um, wonderful. So that's Limgrave Tunnels done. I think that's okay. I can now tick that off of my notes. So that's all good. Now, in terms of where we're going now, I think we're still just checking out and exploring uh, Leonia. I've got a beacon there. Apparently, I've got a second one on my map somewhere. I just have to try and look for a blue line. Where did I put... Because if I look on the map, I've got a second one this way. Where is that? Where have I placed a beacon and why? Ah, here. Because that's related to... I'm so glad that I placed this beacon because I completely forgot that we got this. The knife print clue. God. Such a godsend to have a map in this game with markers. Especially for me, I forget things really easily. Um, which, it, like, have, leaving notes and making markers on the map has been so, so good for me to actually keep me on track in a playthrough like this. I genuinely, it's been so, so good. That looks like that could be an ever jail. So potentially, I think, let's go, let's go to the study hall, walk along this path to what I assume to be an ever jail on the map, and we can go up to that minor erd tree and then check out uh, Fia's knife, knife print, knife print clue. I think that's a good idea. Hello team, see you later. Ooh, we've got more of the fire worshippers over here. Ooh. Take a swing at me, will ya? How about a double kill? Two and one, maybe? If you put yourself in harm's way, I'll get you. Use, baby. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, how dare you disturb my attack? There we go. Ah, my horse. Oh, that's so rude. Oh, God. <laughs> You dare disturb me on my horse. Get wrecked. Come back to me, horse. Good old torrent. Ooh, it's not an ever jail, guys. It's not an ever jail. You know what that does look like, though. You know what that does look like? Uh, where are we? Map is huge! Like, where am I? It looks like one of these. Uh, apparently, also, because uh, with how it's spelt, it looks like it's pronounced Siofra. Apparently it's Shiofra. Or like Shofra. It's like an SH, I think. Something of, uh, something of Irish, um, of Irish pronunciation. Um, I actually, I actually have a have a friend, someone that I someone that I have known, under the name. It's pronounced Kiva, but with how it's spelt, <laughs> uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't think so. You wouldn't think so. So Irish uh, pronunciation is always a very interesting thing. Now, I've previously theorized. I think it came up last episode when we've dealt with the fire monks and stuff. That I think that these are the fire giants. Judging by the fire coming out of them and their size. Um, but I mean, I guess there's no way to know. And I'm also wondering if they're susceptible to a sneak attack or not. So, this guy's already weak. So we're just going to do one of these. I don't think you can really sneak attack one of them. So, you just kind of get the advantage by hitting them. They bash it, bash upon the ground in a loud manner. There we go. Jump over! No. Yep. There you go. Kill him. Nice. There we go. 
dealing with another dealing with another situation with audio by the way where i have to keep trying to turn down the sound effects they're now at three meanwhile the voice is at 10 and the voices are still super quiet it's such a dark souls problem but it's a it's a problem with games in general is they're like big booming sound effects that make me go deaf and then it's like i'm listening to characters whisper when they uh when they talk to me yeah this looks like a river well I guess we got to enter to get it on the map. Aha. Uh -huh. Ainsel. Ainsel? River well? It is a river well. There you go. We got a, We have another underground location. Another underground location. This one, pronunciation. Pronunciation, I feel would be like, it, it gives me like a Hansel, like an Ainsel kind of vibe. Okay, we didn't go down as deep as Shiofra. Ainsel River. But it is another river. So the rivers run underneath. The rivers run underneath the lens. Okay. Interesting. Are those ants? Those are ants with giant stabby things. I do not like it. Alright guys, I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't want to deal with giant ants, bro. Oh shit. Did you guys eat these guys out of their out of all of their graves? Out of all of their coffins? Keep my eye on you. Golden rune. Oh, of course there's a cave through. Of course there's a cave past them. Can't summon torrent down here. We got the waterfall, we got the underground waterfall, that's kind of cool. Magic Grease. Uh, if we can't summon Torrent, I guess that's a dead end. Let me get the ability on Torrent to ascend waterfalls like a Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're going to have to fight these ants. There's two different types of them, one with small white stripes, one with big white stripes. What's the difference? Can I pass in peace? No, I, of course I can't. All right, let's let's have a look. Let's have a look and see what you're all about. Bunch of nothing you are. There you go. Get tea bagged, ant. That pissed off the other one though. All right, I want to see what you can do. Let's see. Yep, you got one of those. You got anything else for the class? No. Oh, you do have something else for the class. Okay. This looks like this is a literal nightmare ant because look at the spikes all over it. Not only does it have the the stinger on the back, but it's also spiky. Okay, so the small the ones with small white lines attacked, but these ones didn't. Oh, there we go. I guess it's just proximity based? No? Okay, you're down. Interesting. Okay. I hate them because of their nature, and I'm not a fan of ants, not a fan of bugs. I don't like bugs. It is a well established fact about me that I don't like bugs. <laughs> Wait, Grace Mimic times eight. Oh, I think we've seen this before as an item that you can craft or something or buy. Yeah, light shows the path, but without order. Rays guiding the way only without any sense of order. We have not used one of those yet. Will we ever use one? Who knows? <laughs> oh, you've also got that. You've also got that. They also excrete... Uh, if it's the color red, maybe it's rot. Are these rotted ants. What you got for me, ant boys? 
great. So we're going down ant tunnels right now. I'm assuming that there's going to be an attack that's tied to those stingers. Oh, bitch. Ask and you shall receive. It just grabs you and then stings you right in the fucking gut. Holy crap. Oh, and here we go again. Oh, no, in the back. They stab you in the back with it. Holy shit. Okay, they're pretty threatening in large numbers. I want to know if the if the shit that they spew at us is um I want to know if that's like rot or something else. So we'll fly, fly. They're pretty hungry, aren't they? Hungry, hungry ants. There's a path down there. Oh my god. Mapping out tunnels, dude, is not fun. Mapping out tunnels. Alright, I'm gonna go back through this path onto the left then, instead. And then go down there again where the tunnels split up. Oh god. They just they just come out of the ground, because of course they do, because they're ants. Okay, that's just a dead end. Good. Okay. Mapping tunnels going successfully right now. Ouch. These ants don't drop anything. Uh, left or right? I'm gonna go left. Because this one's a little more tucked away. Oh, we got eggs. Oh, we got eggs. Oh no, that's a queen. I didn't even see the giant one there for a second. Okay. Can't threaten them by going for the eggs. Okay. We've stumbled into the chamber of the queen. I was about to say before I saw that the queen is just a normal enemy, I was like, I wonder if the boss of this area is going to be the queen. Are you aggressive? Yes, of course you are. No? Yes, yes, you are, but you can't move very well. Death to the queen. Oh, it just popped! Golden Rune 10 and a Rune Arc. I was almost out of there. I was almost out and just about to, to heal. There's a status effect. There's a status effect up there. I don't know what it is, though. Um, doesn't look like it's rot. But it inflicts a status effect when you get... When you get touched by it, I guess. Maybe it's like that ability from... Uh, it's like that debuff from... Um, Oh god, that debuff from Dark Souls 2. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? I'm an idiot. Overconfidence. Never allow yourself to be outnumbered like this. Especially by ants. Alright, you see why I hate ants? Sheesh. Try not underestimate the power of ants. Haven't you guys seen Bugs Life? Um, yeah, I'm assuming it's like, might, might be the effect from like Dark Souls. Oh yeah. Might be the effect from Dark Souls 2, where uh, it has like those pits or those areas where your uh, equipment deteriorates. While this game doesn't have that, in terms of the durability, it might have... It might just reduce its effectiveness? Who knows? 
Unfortunately, this game doesn't have a screen where it explains its debuffs or buffs. You just have to look at that icon and go, yes, red square with an arrow. Come on guys, you should know what that means by now. It's a red square with an arrow. We know that the... We know what they mean now. Red square with a down arrow is my... I have like a tiny bit of health taken away by getting hugged. Um, that turtleneck is my stamina for my shield and then the other one is that talisman I have equipped which means I take more damage. I take more damage but all my attributes have been increased. So we're rocking that, just keep in mind, just remember that we are rocking an increased damage talisman. At the moment. In order for a, uh, I think it's plus five increase on all of our attributes. Plus three. Plus three, not on all of them, sorry. Vigor, Endurance, Strength, Dex, uh, more HP, um, better equip load too, and Stamina. So you get more HP as well, as like an additional bonus, but you do take more damage, so... Uh, I'm gonna focus on these guys first. Ah, oh, the Queen does not respawn, naturally, considering you get, um... A 10 rune, and a rune arc. Makes sense. You've got a dumb long-range ability, so do I. Okay. I thought I was safe. I was literally, again, just about to heal. I thought I was safe. Okay. They've just got, uh, they've just got homing powers <laughs> on that, on that red juice. Well, goodbye runes. Didn't, didn't need you anyway. Okay. Queen's Chamber, once again. Now, I think... Um, because they only dropped down last time when we actually attacked the Queen, so maybe... If we just... walk through... Be careful not to step on any eggs on your way out. I think we're okay. And they can go and protect their eggs that are left over, because they don't have a queen anymore until they get a new queen! Perfect. I don't have to get killed by them anymore. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, palace ruins. <laughs> okay. Ah, I see. I see. So we were up there. Um, when we went around that side, and this drops down into some ruins. Okay. Um, this makes me question things. That looks like a lift. Okay, I think we might be able to do both. Alright, we're gonna go this way, because there's an item on this ledge. This is the only way to get here. Smithing stone four. Okay, now it looks like from here we just have to drop down. I'll drop down onto this ledge because there's another item. Celestial Dew. Elden Ring Mountain Dew, baby. Let's have a look. Uh, Celestial Dew, what would that be? And where? Hey guys, oh there it is. Carry out absolution at the Church of Vows. A hidden tear found in the Eternal City. Okay, so the Eternal City must just be underneath the lands between, right? Underneath everywhere. Because this is this also states that this is the Eternal City. When we were in Shiofra, that also said Eternal City. So the Eternal City is just underground. Also known as a Night Tear. Allows one to carry out an absolution at the Church of Vows, reversing all antagonizations. Oh, this is if you seek absolution. This is like a Dark Souls 1 cleansing your 
So if you've made any NPCs aggressive, you reverse all antagonizations. Once upon a time, the stars of the night sky guided fate, and this is a recollection of those times. At the Church of Vows, so this, so Elden Ring has its own version of like, being like, being able to request absolution. So we're pissed off everybody in the game. <laughs> That's good to know. Even though I don't plan on doing it. Oh, hello there. Whoa. <laughs> You're all aware of me, huh? He's doing a roly poly. He's like, look at my tricks. Look at my tricks. They can do roly polies. All right, I've uh, garnered quite some attention from this group. I'm going to respectfully try and avoid them. Because they. Uh, uh. Trying to get some Formic Rocks. That's a new one. We haven't gotten Formic Rocks before. All right. Get the Formic Rocks and run! Because these guys have... S Ooh. Ooh. He summoned a bubble. Uh, we have not got Formic Rocks before, so we'll have to check those out. But I'm assuming it's a crafting material. Look at these. Look at these boys. Look at these boys. Golden Rune. Nothing ever hidden behind a waterfall. It's like Miyazaki specifically is requested never hide anything behind a waterfall because it's a dumb video trip and he hates it. <laughs> That's what it feels like for me. Do we not have a way to summon the... Where's the... Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm usually expecting it on the wall. I mean, on the floor. Not on the wall. Me just saying whatever comes to mind what I, based on what I'm looking at. Magic lift. I summon thee. Because quick, I'm about to get stabbed. Quickly. <laughs> no! He's going to roly poly onto the lift. Yes, roly poly down to your death. Damn it. Come on. Aww. I didn't roly poly down to their death. Okay. Now I believe this. Oh, side of grace. Yeah, over this side is that other cave that we initially came out of next to uh, next to the queen ant cave. Okay. There's a side of grace here. Da -da -da -da. Where are we? So the Ainsel River Sluice Gate Nice. Which leads to the Ool Temple. Ool Temple. Where we've got Big Boy holding a stone tablet with important things, I bet. Important teachings of the Erd Tree. Uh, staircase. That is indeed staircase. Pathway down items. That cave we entered in because I, yeah, we looked at this and turned around. So I don't need to go down there. So going through the Queen's little cave is a really just essentially to get yourself that um, Mountain Dew. And then um That other item we got. That thingy. You know what I'm talking about. That thingy. The thingy! Um, let's have a look at... I believe it would be a crafting material. Formic rock. Rock formed from solidified giant ant venom. Okay, so it's like ant venom that they're shooting at us. Highly acidic. Found the Ainsil River and other places where giant ants live. So it's, yeah, it's acidic in nature. So I feel like it is quite similar to what I was talking about with like the Dark Souls 2, how it has like essentially an acid thing that reduces the durability of your gear. So I'm assuming maybe that in this game, because it doesn't really have a durability thing, thank god, um, it might be if, like a weapon efficiency or something like that, I don't know. Do -do -do. Hello everybody. Look at them all. Can I use my horse? No. No horses allowed. Don't bubble at me. I'm, I'm too weak to attack you. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not that weak to attack you. Okay. 
You guys can actually get slashed without my sword bouncing back at me. They only give they only give me like 117 runes though, so the amount of effort it takes to kill them is not worth it. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck, dude? That's not even a boss? That's just a thing? That I can lock onto from here? Holy shit, dude. I can lock onto it from here. Dude, it's got like beetle... beetle jaws. Giant wings. What is it hanging from? What the fuck? Look at that! It's got an eyeball coming out of its skull. Out of the forehead. That is insane, and it's just shooting rocks at me. These guys aren't even attacking me. So what I understand about magic in this game is blue is the... Uh, blue is like the sorcery is just the glintstone magic and purple is gravity magic so this thing and i mean i assume that's how it's floating in the sky as well is it's using gravity magic how do we get this fucking thing down without getting wiped out by a rock storm and then this thing doing a bubble oh god oh god oh god oh god i'm not ah, rock storm <laughs> okay we made it underneath we have to deal with this before I explore this area. Oh, it's just a merchant, just hanging out. You... Hey, we got a map. We, we just got a, we just got a map. Nice. It's like, hey, bud, are you seeing this? Do you understand what's out there? And you're just, you're just, you're just chilling. The Ancel River. Okay, so we started here, and then we went down this way. And we can't go down that way because that's a waterfall, but it looks like that's a way out. Interesting. So we're currently... Alright, we came through there. Big thing is here. I'm gonna just... Death is there. <laughs> uh, we can go around this way through there. Big old area. Go through here. Go in here. And then we can leave. So we'll do it. We'll be able to do a lap of the place. I don't know about this. Is someone there? Yes. A customer. A well, customer. How long has it been? A customer. Oh, he sells the prisoner. Get up. I have to buy a perfumer's cookbook. Lost ashes of war. Used to duplicate one. And he sells the Mountain Dew. And he sells gravity magic. How convenient. Um, th Thor, Thrust, Boluses, Stimulating Boluses, and Acid Spray Mist. I'm going to buy the Prisoner outfit as well. Um, Something else. Yes, I'm going to sell you some runes. I'll sell you some runes if you don't mind, because I need to, I need to buy some things from you. I'm going to buy the Lost Ashes of War as well, to duplicate, because I, I don't have any of those yet, so I may as well. Cool. Thank you, sir. And, you know, saves me having to come back if I don't want to. So, we can make some of these. Build up of sleep and frost. Iron Mask, forced on a prisoner, convicted of an appalling crime, thick, heavy, and utterly stifling. A foul creation designed to torment the wearer, either slowly fermenting hatred within their heart, or a spiritual fervor that is near indistinguishable from it. Literally Griffith to a T. I know it's not necessarily only a Griffith reference, there is also Man in the Iron Mask, but it is so fitting to Griffith. I look so silly in it. I love it. Alright guys, we're a prisoner class now. <laughs> 
Never once washed, every fibre is filthy. Filthy tarnished. Wonderful. Look at me! It really is just the helmet that makes it worse. Now I'm just like a swashbuckling man with a turtle shell. And I'm angry about it. I don't like how my scar looks in-game. But I, I like how it looks in the character creator. When it's in when it's in game, it just like stands out way too much for me. It's very interesting that the, the graphics. It seems like the graphics in the character creator almost a, a better, but it, it it does come down to lighting as well. But um, it's just me. I'm a simple old weary traveler wearing my poor exile hood. <laughs> oh, this is not the fashion. This is not the fashion souls that I am after. <laughs> That is not what I that is not what I need. <laughs> For fuck's sake, man. We we and we barely have any armor either. We, there's there's so much more for us to uncover in this game, I'm sure. Um we do not have enough to really cultivate anything amazing amazingly fashionable right now. We don't really have much. Okay, so there's a merchant there, so we have to go off around the side here on the map. Um, I uh, don't know if there's a way up. Ah, oh, there's items up there. There is a way up. There's gonna be a way... Ah, oh, that must be... I don't know if there's a way up here, but it looks like there's a pathway up here that you might be able to get onto the top of this building. Either that, or you have to do it from this way. So we have to go around the long way to eventually deal with whatever the hell this thing is. It's gonna just rock storm me again. Alright, we're out of here. Far out, alright. I am going down this way. I'm gonna leave all the lovely Lovely rock miners alone. Yeah, oh, it's like those rings around it seem to be holding it up as well, I'd assume. Uh huh. I have more grace. More grace discovered. What is the name of this place? Just downstream. Downstream? And yes, I know I play offline, but I still activate the summoning pools anyway, because it make, you, you may as well activate them when you find them, otherwise if I ever wanted to, you know, use them one day, in the New Game Plus or anything like that, I'd have to run through and activate them all again. What are they feasting on? Maybe they're busy. Oops! Don't mind me. I'm sneaking in here. You have no idea that I'm here. See? Just continue to feast. Immunizing horn charm. See? They don't even know that I'm here. They don't care. An accoutrement worn by the ancestral followers raises immunity. Resistance to poison and rot. Said to be a budding horn, the ancestral followers believe that the horns of a long-lived beast continue to bud like antlers over and over again until the beast one day becomes an ancestral spirit. Nice. So it is a resistance to poison and rot. Nice. Fuck rock. Ah! So loud when you destroy shit. Crystal dart. Okay, now. No. Oh. This way goes off of the map. God, is this going to go to another location underground? What the fuck are you? Oh, no! They're fucking basilisks, dude! What the fuck? Oh, no! They brought basilisks back! Oh, fuck! They brought basilisks back! Yep, it does whatever the fuck. It's not necessarily cursed, but it's pretty much it. Oh, no, dude! Oh, fuck! Fuck! <laughs> uh, it really is Dark Souls 4 in a lot of ways, isn't it? 
Hey, put my lantern back. Alright, I'll use my torch. Hey! Why can't I keep my light when I want to zoom in on them? Fuck me, they brought the basilisks back. Now, it's the status is called... What is it? Um, there's a... There's a thing here. It's not called Curse. There's something... Okay, it doesn't actually list it. Uh, there's p perhaps there's... I think there's an item somewhere that'll talk about it. There's something... there's definitely something that talks about it. We've got crystal darts that we picked up. There's, I, I know that there's something, there's an item that we have that talks about what it actually, what that status effect actually is. Oh, I think it's the vitality thing. I think it's, I think it might be the vitality one. So it's going to be something that reduces our vitality. I think that's what that is. Oh, I can't believe they fucking brought Basilis back, dude. And they, 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 they act the exact same way. <laughs> this game is definitely a uh, direct and significant evolution of Dark Souls. So if we were to ever somehow get a Dark Souls 4, an actual named Dark Souls game again, Expect it to play exactly like this or better. Or similar, I should say. Holy fuck, man. Aeonian Butterfly. This is nuts. Well, this is hell. So that's good. Just another, just another hellscape. Ooh, that looks cool over there, though. We're gonna have to navigate through this hellscape. Can't wait. We don't even know what it is either. Don't even know what it is. Uh, let's have a look through our crafting materials. What did we just pick up? Um, the Aeonian butterflies. Ah, okay. Found in the Swamp of Aeonia. So this is the Swamp of Aeonia. According to myth, these butterflies were once the wings of the Goddess of Rot herself. The Swamp of Aeonia. Well, we're not getting down there this way, are we? Fuck me. Oh, I can't believe that they... Oh my god. I should have just kept doing a thrust attack. Can't believe that they brought Basilisks back. <laughs> and it's got to be... It's got to be at a rot swamp as well. It's just... Just gotta... Keep them all together. An absolute cesspit. Of awful stuff. Okay, so that's... I guess we're heading there at some point. But we don't have a map there yet, or a way down there. But we're going to have to go the long way around. So, if that's down there... I'm assuming it'll be that. You go down there. And that's how we'll get there. And where is that? Where is that on... That's to deal with... Okay. So we'll end up almost going underneath... Underneath, um... Rhea Lucaria, which is very interesting. So this swamp is underneath the academy. Or at least close to it. Oh, I've already got my lantern on. It seems that, for the most part, the ants are actually non-hostile. Unless you get in their personal space. And luckily, you don't have the ability to destroy their eggs, because I feel like that would, that would cert most certainly... That would most certainly piss them off. Oh, 
you can actually do a fast crouch. I didn't even realize that. I thought this would just burst into a sprint. I just pressed B. You can actually do a little bit more of a fast crouch. I really assumed it would have broken us out of um, sneaking. That's good to know. Okay, we've got a steak of America, which means we're about to get massacred. <laughs> a melted mushroom. We're about to fight a boss. Mistakes give it away sometimes. Continuing to sneak regardless, just in case. Okay, where is this? Whoa, okay. We've seen that on a loading screen. We've seen big old skeleton in a chair in a loading screen. It's crazier to see it in person though. Especially with like whatever the fuck is happening here. As always, very horrifying imagery. Is this gonna be the boss? Are we about to have a giant skeleton just stand up and fight us? This is very Bloodborne-esque. This reminds me of when we were going through... Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the location. I'm trying to... Uh, I can't remember the name. We're trying to go through... It's after a particular point in Bloodborne. You go through, there's a lot of like imagery that's very similar to this. Guys, you want to check if... Th check if it's going to move? Check its pulse, guys. Check the skeleton's pulse. Okay. Dragonkin Soldier of Noxstella. Okay. Okay, it's not a giant skeleton boss, it's a giant lizard dragon. Dragonkin. Uh, where do I hit it? Okay. <laughs> ah, it's a mummy, it's mummified. Look at its belly. It's rotting. It's a rotting corpse that I can barely even hit. Hello. Hello. Ah! Attack the feet! I just, oh, fucking hell. Look at that thing. Holy shit. I just got stance broken and then squished. Well, I told you we were about to get massacred. I told you. So. Dragonkin. At least we can block it with this, uh, with this shield. Alright, I feel like we might be better off blocking do the old unsheath. I was fully expecting that skeleton to start moving about. Where the fuck is it? Oh. <laughs> there it is. Just drops down. It's just hanging out. Why is the boss music not playing? The boss music isn't playing. It's playing just the normal music. Ah, oh, immersion broken. Play the boss music. Ow. Ow. I'm actually quite annoyed that there isn't boss music. Oh god, the delay and the slam, dude. I was waiting for that slam for the longest time. <laughs> Bro, the music didn't trigger. What is this? That's such a shame. I know that he's a dragon, so his head's going to be weaker. But it's hard for me to get to his head. Get your head down here. Oh, God. Oh, God. I just stood up. Chill. I just stood up. Chill. 
going through all of my fucking flasks immediately. Alright, uh, fuck it, I'm going for your legs. What the fuck? I can't even see. I can't even see what these attacks are. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, what? Well, I don't even- I've never even seen that symbol before. That's like a lightning- yep, that's a lightning thing. Okay. Shock damage. Oh yeah, shock damage, right. Oh, I have something for that. I'm pretty sure I have something for that. Oh, it's frostbite? Wait, what? the fuck? Frostbite? That's, that's icy lightning, I guess. Alright. Guys, that, that, uh, that attempt doesn't count because the music wasn't playing. And I threw, I, th I threw the match. Because <laughs> the music didn't play. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Boost lightning damage negation. We have a bolt drake talisman. However, is that lightning or is it frost? Lightning or frost lightning? What do you think? I don't know. I don't think we necessarily need it either. Like, th this boss fight is perfectly manageable. As long as the music plays and then I can focus. That's why, that's why I lost, guys. I wasn't locked in, because of the music. The music's glitched outside of the first encounter. You have to defeat him first try to get the music. What the fuck? Imagine missing a boss that's this big. I can't even see him! <laughs> Just keep dodging until I can heal. Oh, yep, there's another one there. Go watch out for that one. Okay, lightning. Well, not lightning. Frost? Lightning? I don't fucking know, man. He's got, yeah, he's got frosty claws. Love it. That's... What? <laughs> okay, I thought I'd already dodged that attack. Apparently there's, a, there's something else to that attack there. <laughs> I was like, okay. I hate that this boss isn't even hard, but I keep dying. <laughs> I think those are the worst type of, not like worst bosses, but the worst type of bosses is when you're fighting it and you're like, objectively this isn't difficult, but I do keep dying. And it's not because of it being a hard fight, I guess it's just because of just like random bullshit. So when he throws down that lightning, apparently there is another f uh, attack involved. Okay, so Dragonkin Soldier just appears out of thin air, he just... He's not even hold. He's not even holding onto the roof or anything. He just actually physically appears out of nowhere. Good. Good. I'm very disappointed in the music, unfortunately, because that's like part of the whole atmosphere of a fight. That's part of the whole thing. All right, should have I should have expected that from you. All right, when's when's frosty time? Here's frosty time. Yes. Was that one hit worth half of my health? No, it wasn't. I don't know why I did that. Okay, so he throws that down. 
Oh, I see. And then there's an explosion. Right. Okay. And the explosion is mapped out. Perfect. Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> what a cool attack, though. That's genu genuinely really fucking cool. Genuinely really cool. Um. Okay. I can't s fucking see. I'm trying to move out of the corner. Hey. How did my, my attack went right through his foot? Ah, oh, that was almost the finishing blow. There you go. Yeah, objectively this guy isn't really hard. Frozen light- it is frozen lightning. Yeah, okay. It's really frozen lightning. Objectively that guy was not tough. He was just kind of difficult to navigate around. Cool design though, like mummified rotting dragon kin. That was actually really cool. Um, I know that the concept of uh, the, we don't really have boss souls or anything like that anymore. We have uh, these great runes from the big bosses, the main ones that we need to defeat and like restore the great runes, and that comes with like lore. I will say that something I really miss uh, that doesn't happen in this game is we're killing all these bosses and sometimes they just drop like an item or they drop like something and it's unrelated to what they are and like I kind of miss that thing when you used to just get boss souls from every single boss and it would give you a little bit of information or lore about them. We're missing that. Uh, we're missing that in this game, unfortunately. So this one's just given us a spell. Uh, which I am in item crafting, that's why I can't find it. Uh, we just got frozen... Oh, it's an incantation! It was blue, so I assumed it was a sorcery. Uh, so frozen lightning spear, uh, so it's an incantation that channels the power of the dragonkin soldiers. Creates a spear of ice lightning and stabs it into the ground from above, the spear will burst into trails of lightning advancing forwards. The dragonkin were born in the Eternal City, where they knew no true sky, nor true lightning, instead ice lightning was their weapon. So we get a bit of lore on the dragonkin, which is good, but not on the boss that we fought specifically, so it's a trade-off, I'll take it. So the dragonkin were born underground, and they, kn and they knew no true sky, only the the fake sky of the underground, which I think is quite magical as well, like when you look up it simulates like a night sky with all of the uh, floating particle effects in the sky. That happened in Shuffer as well. Cool boss, so we've got a t the skeleton chair. We can have a look if that goes down to the Aeonian Swamp. Ah, going underground is so funny. Going underground is so funny because you're always just like, oh hell yeah, like, um, it's, it's just like, yeah, fuck yeah, we're going under here. Or I go like, ah, oh, we're going to go explore Leonia today. And I'm like, technically I did. I did go back up to Leonia and then we're like, nope, you're going downstairs. You're going down underground now. <laughs> Big old chest. A great ghost, Glovewort. Okay. A great version. Um, that should be in crafting material, no? That's in bolstering materials. Strengthens renowned ashes to plus ten. Ooh. Since times of old, large glove warts were used to comfort heroic spirits, given in tribute to those who died the most glorious of deaths, of deaths, in their hope, their stories would become legend. Become legend, Guardian. Okay, so we've got a cool little cool little thing. There's a side of grace down there. Let's make our way down. No horse. Sad. Right, let's see if there's anything else around here. I want to know what the deal with like this, this is. And why. me rest here. I think we will I'll level up with these runes that I have as well. Um, mm -mm. Put 
put it in the old put it in the old decks for our decks weapons. You know something that I want to try that could be fun is um where is it? I haven't got it leveled up, so it'd be kind of useless. But like my second, my second katana. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I still have unsheathed. How cool is it that I have like both of them in there? Oh, dude, it sheaths both swords. So when I when I press LB. Oh. Uh, I press LB it does like nice there's an attack that's specific to the two blades is that only because it's two uchis or would it work with my bloodhounds thing ah, it works because it's the same type of weapon I think maybe because it's in this section let me use another sword and not a curved blade Wow, okay, so it's having two of the, I think it's either two of the same weapon, or if there was more weapons in this same sort of category, maybe. I need to level up this second Uchi now so I can do this! Look at that! Oh, that's fucking cool. Twin... It's like the... It's not a twin blade, but I've got twin blades. Alright, how do I get down safely? How do I get down... Because there's a waterfall there. I think we can go down this way. How do I get... I need to find my way down. I wonder what the... Uh, I wonder what the symbolism is with the giant skull. Giant skeleton man. Giant skeleton man. Do you, what do you require? Can I get down from here? Maybe, guys, maybe it's just a magic waterfall. It's just a magic waterfall, and if you jump, you'll survive. <laughs> I'm looking to see if there's even, like, ledges on the waterfall or something. Is there ledges on the waterfall, or is that a trick? What do you reckon? It looks like there's a ledge there, but I also feel like that's death. Otherwise, I think maybe we'll have to... I'm going to take a chance. And we died, but it also took- it also gave us a new location. <laughs> the Aitzel River, Maine. We died instantly, without hesitation. Okay. They literally didn't even hold back on the death there. <laughs> they did not hold back on the death. They were just like, You are dead. We're not even going to trick you into thinking that you might be able to make it down here. I was like, maybe it'll be a situation where you drop down onto a ledge. And you have to sort of, like, go down ledge by ledge across the waterfall to get down to the bottom. It did look like there was a walkable ledge there. Um, however, it was actually a death barrier, so it's not happening. So, um, the way out... Dude, what if you, what if you do a gesture at the skeleton and then the skeleton picks you up and puts you down. Like, it comes back to life. You can be up there. Look at that. You can get up there. Is there a secret behind these waterfalls? No! Just watch there- we're just waiting for there to be like a ladder behind a waterfall or something. Alright, there's nothing behind the waterfalls. I'm gonna do the- I'm gonna gesture at the- at the s giant skeleton. Because these guys are all- these guys are all- Trying to get the, the Skelly Boy's attention. Hey, Skelly Boy. Uh, Rapture. <laughs> oh, snap my fingers at him. Yeah, do the Rapture at him. Come on, guys. This is the path of the dragon all over again. Watch me get taken to underground Dragon Peak. Dragon Kin Peak. Arch Dragon Kin Peak, pick me up! Pick me up, giant skeleton! Pick me! Pick me up and put me up there. You can do it. Get, uh, get, get down from your throne. Pick me up, I am but a tiny samurai. Ah, that's not working. Maybe try... Ooh, 
This isn't related to the fire thing, so I don't think fire's gonna work. Here! I want get his attention. Finger snap at him. Hey! Hey you! No, it doesn't work. Now let's do fire spur. Bump the chest until something happens. What other gestures do we have? <laughs> wave at him. Let's wave at him. Beckon? As you wish. Reverential bow. Grovel for mercy. Spread out! Who gave us spread out again? The That dude in Leonia that we got the necklace from, right? What would spread out even do? What would spread out even do? Like, in, in any scenario. Here, I'm dead. Now pick me up. <laughs> I'm a gaze I'm a gaze at the sky. I'm gazing at the sky. Anyone want to give me a lift? I'm drowning in my sorrows. One of the waterfalls isn't working. I realize cuz one is one looks like it doesn't allow for water to come out of it. That's an interesting architectural choice, don't you think? There's one that doesn't have a thing that's open for water to come out. Which means... Secret wall! Damn it. God. Alright, maybe... Okay. Nope. Maybe there's a walking ledge on this side. Even though it triggers an automatic death thing straight away. I don't think so. How do we get down there? How do we do it? Problem solving, man. Alright, we got a chest. And the chest gave us... A, a glove walk flower. Like, that's not... Tied to navigation. What about this? Look at this big one. Is there anything that we can do it when we're at the side of grace, maybe? No, there's nothing here. Honestly, the fact that there's a giant skeleton there just really leads me to believe that... Oh, wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. How dare you? How dare you put a, like, a little thing in here and it just do, does nothing? Why is this even here? This is just to hide from the boss. I'm so confused, bro. Alright, there must be another way to get down that's not in this room. I guess this is just a boss arena. This is really fucked. Because then in that case, that means that this might be a pathway down there where I was just... It looks like on the map it might be a way that you go around and you then... Alright, we're going to go back here then. Um, get rid of that. Alright, we're going to go back downstream. <laughs> we'll try here instead. Maybe we can go over the right side of the room. The Ul Palace Ruins. Oh, that's so cool. And it only works if you press LB. If you press RB, it's just normal attacks. And then left trigger still does unsheath. Actually, does it do unsheath with both weapons? How does this work? Ah, oh, imagine! Imagine if it was unsheathed with both swords. Like a double... A double unsheath. That would be so sick. Okay. Got that slow grab. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, there's another one. Me trying to see if I could just kill them with sheer stubbornness, but apparently not. Because two-handing them does not stagger them. Maybe the final, maybe the final attack of the two-handed combo will. Yeah. 
Eh. Oh, the fucking... Wait, what is that? Get that bubble away from me. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's the... Okay, hang on. There's a pathway up here. Um, I cannot get there from up there. But they are ballooning me. Alright, the two-handed uh, weapon I think is going to be great. Only when we upgrade the sword a bit more. <gasps> is this a secret waterfall? Can I actually go through the fucking waterfall? Is that how we get through? Do I finally have the waterfall path that I've been wanting forever? Oh, no. Fuck! <laughs> no! Damn it! It was like secret waterfall. It, it felt it felt right in that moment. God damn it! Ah. Okay, then in that case, we definitely need to. Fucking hell! Look at that thing. See, you can get up on the roof. To get across the other side, I think you need to go a whole fucking different way. So, to get over there, and then up there, and then that goes up to the roof where I can deal with this thing. Hmm. So it, it is what I suspected. It is what I thought. Let me open my map. Alright, it is what I thought. You need to go up here. And then you get here, and then you go around to the roof. Which means it needs to be done from here. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm struggling to navigate this area, dude. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. We can go down here. Have I been down there? Maybe that way takes us where we need to go. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Maybe I've just... Maybe the answer lies even earlier. I think the answer lies even earlier. Let's take a look. Let's run back. Let's leave! I do not wish for this anymore. Okay. So... This way. Here? Down here. Aha! Aha! Earlier pathway. And if it's not this, then I don't know. Yes, it is this. Here is it. Is it? Yes? No? Yes, it is. Cool. Wonderful. Man, that hailstorm. It'll get you. Get a hail out tonight. Alright, there we go. Oh, fuck. Oh, no! I actually died as well. Shit. Okay. <sighs> That's fine. We know where to go! Alright, we figured it out. We figured it out. Now we can get up there and we can attack this thing. Uh, and then I think that will lead to the path that goes down here. 
and then we can choose our adventure from there. God damn. What a massive location. You head underground and it's just even bigger than you ever imagined it being. So... We leave here. I was looking, I was looking uh, too close to the destination for my answers, but I needed to just go back. Go back this way. Those rocks really got some range, huh? I think, can I just... Yeah. Alright, let's not fall down this time. It's a good idea. Charging up your rocks. Launch them at me. Ugh. There we go. Nice. I fucking made it to you. Now let's fight, you bastard. Face me. Get down here. Ugh. Oh! Should have saw that coming. <laughs> uh, if we get too far away, you're gonna do your magic. Okay. Easy enough to hide away from. Get in here. Oh shit, you still do it anyway, okay. Ow. Imagine falling down at this moment. Would not be happy. Fuck yeah. I was expecting this enemy to like literally just like fall down or you'd have to find a way to make it fall down. Okay. Cleansed. Nice. Okay. No more gravity insect thing. Gravity skull beetle. Looking ass. Why are all the objects being like... Why are all the objects being see-through at me right now? I guess because they're part of the environment. That's like a... Isn't that like a camera thing? Like a... Is that... Whether the camera automatically avoids walls. It's like that thing, right? No? That's a... that is a... setting that I've never fully understood. To be honest, I don't ask questions. I just keep it at what it is. Um, I was really expecting that there would be something in here after killing that enemy, or even an item for killing that enemy. Um, however, nothing. That's weird. Well, we have at least the answer that we can now, I believe, go down that way. I can now remove that marker from the map. Thing has been slain. Oh, we have to drop. Is there a way that we can drop down without dying? Surely. This way. There you go. Get down without dying. Just seeing if there's an item on the on a drop before I no okay. We I'm gonna speak to the merchant then. Maybe the merchant might say something. He's like, "Wow, you defeated the thing." Well, divorce from one's trade. Nope. Okay. He's like, "Ah, oh, thanks for killing that thing." Here's a million dollars. No. It would be nice if there was just a way back up to that ledge. Oh, hang on a minute. Holy shit, it goes up even higher, that item up there. Oh, wait a minute. Huh. It goes up even higher. Alright, hold on. Hold on a minute. 
Let's go back around and see if we can climb up there from this way. Otherwise... That still doesn't answer my question of how the fuck do we get to we progress in this area. Yeah. Ah! Why are you all here? Go back to where you're supposed to be. Okay, now we can navigate here without threat of uh, gravitational hell storm. So you guys are just chilling. Okay. Don't know if we can get on the top of that tower, but I don't know if we would need to. I'm like, what if that's like a giant switch? But I don't think it is, because it's the same as this. Okay, so we drop on here. And now we are looking for a way to climb up even higher, I think. Is that possible? No! What? In this room, it's possible to be higher up. So that must be tied to... That's tied to up there, so you have to... <sighs> so those are waterfalls that you can't get up. That's the thing that you can't get up. So the answer lies here somewhere. You have to get down there somehow. Oh, is that like a... Maybe that's... Maybe that there is like a room that you can go down there and then you end up here? Uh, okay, let's try that. Right, I'm going back again to this boss room and maybe I just need to go back maybe I just need to go back a bit again I need to sell the river man navigation through pathways is sometimes not the most easy thing or natural thing but dear lord do we try Ah, my camera. Oh, hang on. I went too far back. Hang on. What I'm looking for on my map is... Here. Oh. Nope. <laughs> on the map... It looks like there's a tiny little pathway. On the map, it looks like there's a tiny little pathway that's like right here. Just a tiny little pathway. This is, this is killing my brain, dude. The pathway lower must lie in this room. I thought that it... I'm, theor I'm theorizing, I'm experimenting, I'm trying. Um, what are you guys... I've looked for obvious cues, which is like, is there just like a pathway that takes me down, that isn't, isn't going to kill me? I've tried things more obscure. And then you walk back here, there's like literally like a ladder or an elevator. <laughs> I'm waiting at this point it, it does like do a thing where I'm like waiting for almost like the answer to like smack me in the face or something, but I'd really appreciate being smacked in the face with the with the answer at this point. Because I was like, oh maybe we can go through here, but that's locked off. Maybe just something to do with this, but that's like, I don't know, there's nothing going on with the waterfall, there's columns around here. This fucking thing is, I can't target it, so it's not alive. I've tried gesturing at it. It honestly gives me like, the having a giant skeleton there just gives me like this, like, vibe that you would, uh, 
do something to get its attention and it would just end up waking up and picking you up and putting you somewhere. Because it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility considering what has happened in, in previous Souls games. I think at this point I'm just going to, for my own mentality, take a break. Uh, to rest my eyes and then maybe if I come back I'll... I'll find something or I'll just give up. <laughs> maybe there's another... Maybe... It doesn't look like there's another... Oh, maybe that is another way down. Oh, that doesn't even line up on the map. There's not... Oh, that... Oh. That could be another lift. But that also looks like it might... Oh. If that is another lift, like another well, there on that island, that would take us down to the Swamp of Aeonia, which could then lead out there and take us around the rest. I, I've been thinking this whole time that maybe we would have to get to Swamp of Aeonia going through there, but it feels like that there could be another well, and that will be our way to get into the rest of this area. I'm trying to approach it with the mentality that maybe I could just clear it or go through it in one go. I don't think I can. Which m might mean we should make our goal that. See if we can get down. I think that's worth a try. Uh, we're going to put a pin in that on our beacon in that case. I'm going to travel. I'm going to travel back up again. We're going to get out of here. Um, we're going to we're going to leave. <laughs> we're going to leave. We we've given it a good we've given it a good go, but I think running theory for now is we need to potentially check that out and see if that's another way down and then just go to the rest of Ainsel River from there because otherwise I'm just kind of bashing my head around against the wall trying to explore and find a pathway that isn't there Which is like slightly, slightly annoying, slightly annoying. But we did, we did experiment with it to see if we could make it happen. So we're gonna travel out of here because I got my horse again. Um, let me quickly run to the edge here and just see if there's anything out the back before we move away from here. And then we're going to do what we said we were going to do when we were coming down this way, which is go and check out that knife print clue. Don't wake up the bear. Don't wake up the bear. Not a good idea to wake up the bear. Let the bear sleep. Okay. Let the bear sleep. Oh, it's one of those things. There's another bear in the distance. Don't wake up the bear, giant magic ball. Alright, we're going to fight the giant magic ball. They're, they're pretty easy to kill. Why aren't you attacking me? There you are. Oh. God, it takes forever to come down, huh? Magic Mortars. That's a cool ability, though. They're easy, eno they're easy enough to kill. There you go. And they didn't even disturb the bear. The bear slipped through all that. No, I was expecting an item. I was expecting an item. Disappointment. Disappointed! Ooh. Got a man in a chair. What you got? Nice, stone sword key. Looting dead bodies. For stone sword keys. 
Oh, that's something. Now we ride back up the hill. Even though it only gives you like a golden rune one, I, every time I see one, I just I can't resist the temptation. I must crush it with my galloping hoofs. And steal that golden rune number one for myself. I'm obsessed with the double jump on Torrent. It's just... Pew, pew, just feels good. This is very satisfying. Touch Grace. It's friendly. I knew about this one before. Okay. Where are we? Eastern Tableland. The Eastern Tableland. Okay. Now, <laughs> the irony about whenever I tell, I tell you, and I set a destination, I set a plan, and I just watch this plan get absolutely derailed, as always, as we explore the open world. My plan is to get to here, seemingly forgetting how much space is between me and there. It's much bigger than you think all the time, and because there's a minor erd tree in the way, there's the, whatever this is, <laughs> and I never want to be like, I never want to sort of just be like, oh, we'll just skip that, and we'll just go straight to the, to the, knife point you know that will be our goal for now but we have to we have to check out the rest of it oh, I don't know what the, what the fuck is that what is that uh, we've got another f we've got another flame monk camp what is going on here oh, more flame slugs whoa is this the f ah Ah! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, that's tough. Oh, hang on, it's weak on the wheels. Ah! <laughs> it's an angry Statue of Liberty! Fuck! Um, is this the flaming chariot? Flame chariots. Beware the fire monk's chariots bearing the faces of giants. A well-aimed blow to the chimney on top may prove effective, but opportunities for a plunging attack will be rare indeed. Uh, so it's the chimney on the top, but the, I think they were weak on the wheels as well. So this is the flame chariot. Oh my god, it's looking at us! Do you see the eyes move? Oh my god. Oh, maybe the back. Hold on. Maybe if I can attack it on the back. Oh, this thing's fucking terrifying with the eyes moving and everything. Oh, hang on. There's a there's a driver. There's a driver. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's creepy as hell. Oh my god. Ah. Yeah, opportunity for a plunging attack is definitely rare indeed, dude. Considering we're in open land, I need to be, like, up there. But then it's not going to stay in a position for me to get on top of it. Unless you, like, just let it do out its normal... Ow! 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 Quick, charge me so then I can... It turn... It has such an incredible turning circle. It's actually quite fascinating. You are really not meant to get onto the back for that driver. Hey, what the fuck? Oh my god, it's fucking climbing. It's ascending. What did you just kill? Ah. Oh. No, it's gonna crush me! <laughs> Bruh. Oh! Almost. It's so close to death! It's so... The, the driver is so close to being dead, dude. Gotcha! 
Holy fuck. <laughs> Fire Blossom. God damn. Fire Blossom. Half ashen and smoldering flower that blooms on the mountaintops of the giants. Fertilized by the sparks of the from the forge at the peak where burns the flame of ruin. Okay, so these chariots wear the faces of giants. So they're actually quite humanoid looking faces. So maybe they're not those, I guess, like giant sentinel things that I assumed that they were. And they actually, like, when we've been down here... Where have we been? Uh, I think it's, like, here at this point. There's, like, giant faces that we've seen. I guess those are, like, the giants. So... Or, like, resembling the giants or something like that. God, you're very resistant to that heavy attack. Not resistant to bleeding, though. Hello, I'm just come to raid your camp for whatever you've got. Ooh, we got a, an incantation. Flame, cleanse me. Flame, dear flame, cleanse me. Oh, hang on. I don't need a beacon. Um, flame. Creates a fire that burns away toxins, alleviates poison and scarlet rot buildup, and cures these ailments. This incantation leaves the caster with subtle burns, reminder that they must fear the flame. Dear flame. Every time there's a way for me to get up here, I'm tempted just, just to see if there's something up there. But if not, it's a way for us to look at stuff from a distance. I didn't mean to get off my horse, but that's fine. Okay, this looks like a bunch of nothing. That's a way for us to get across that gap, though. That's cool. We can jump across that onto this side. Which we haven't gone up this way. We have not... This whole thing here is unexplored. Because we did Leonia Highway. We went through here instead. And we went down that way to the Cliff Bottom Catacombs. I think we... I, we might have been here, but I, we have not pushed up here yet. No markings or anything, especially when there's something like that. It makes me get... I'm like looking at it being like, ah, the coal of adventure to go back over here. And I'm like, I just, I'm supposed to trying to go up here. <laughs> uh, trying to go up here. Can't win, can I? Everywhere in this game is just so interesting. Wow, look at those ruins. There's our beacon over there. Oh, actually, hang on. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's still a pathway that we can go to. Got worried for a second. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go this way. I feel I feel the call of the wild. As always, I'm gonna jump across this gap. Is it possible to jump? Yeah. 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 And that's the study tower, which we don't know how to ascend yet, because we've gotten in there, had a lot of fun with, um, NPC that was in there. Oh, it's an artist shack. It's a, okay, it's another artist shack with another painting. Awesome. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The magic of the painting. Watch one of these paintings actually end up being a painting world. <laughs> Cool. Another artist shack. You trust paintings, like, the whole point of the paintings in Elden Ring is to make you trust them, that you won't get sucked into them like Dark Souls. But then there'll be one painting that'll pull you right in. So it's another collection of graves with Rey Lucaria in the distance. Resurrection painting. Resurrection painting. Let's have a look. 
Resurrection. Okay, so you can see the Erd Tree and Ray Lucaria. And seeing as the tree is there and Lucaria is there, the Resurrection Graves are around here somewhere. I think it. Oh, it'll be up. It'll be up on top. It'll be on top of the cliff because look at that view. That's elevated. So that painting is around here somewhere. So I, I'm going to put a gem, maybe. It's like, oh, it's hard because I can't specify because it's not technically underground, but it's underneath another level. I can't put, I'm just going to shove the angle of the Erd tree and the Rayleigh Lucaria quite close to each other. So I'm going to chuck it like here or something. And uh, hopefully that'll, hopefully that'll be a reminder. But yeah, because there's the tree, two trees actually. Oh, hang on, there's another tree there as well. The tree is on the right hand side though. Oh wait a minute, hang on. Let's. I'm trying to see the angle of. I'm trying to see the angle of the academy itself. Yeah, I'm pretty confident it's over on the east side. We need to be up there. There's a gorgeous skybox. Yeah, I think we need to be up there and then viewing it from... from that side. With that tree in sight. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah. That feels, that feels right. Okay, so we've got another artist shack. I'm gonna go down this way. Crystal buds, we don't have a lot of those. So they're seemingly harder to come across. God, look at how the light affects like the, the cloud and the fog in that area. That's really beautiful. Can't wait to get up there when we finally figure out how that works. We need to get a grand lift working, uh, which is another thing. Um, Ooh, because, yeah, we got information from Gideon off near the All-Knowing. When he told us about we need to give the medallion uh, to someone west of the Laskia ruins. Just watching the sun go down right now because I'm just noticing the light changing. Look at it move in real time, by the way. Like, the real-time shadow changes as we watch the sun go down. That's really fucking cool. Look at the sky. So we should start watching the shadows creeping up the tower almost as well, right? Yeah. Shadows start to creep up the tower. That's cool. Watch an Elden Ring sunset with me, guys. That's quite beautiful. As it goes down. The fact that it does that in real time and it looks very realistic and seamless is is beautiful. Because there are games that do day and night cycles uh, and, it, and it's almost sometimes it just like snaps to darkness or the, the way that the shadows change is like very sudden. Uh, Halo Infinite has that, by the way. Halo Infinite's day and night cycle just like kind of snaps very suddenly. This being such a, a slow movement, obviously it's sped up to, because it's a game. But you can see, I think at the bottom of the... I'm just seeing if the bottom of the map is slowly... T yeah, the bottom of the map is slowly ticking as well. You can see that the time just slowly ticks as it enters a new phase. That's awesome. I just saw a knight around here. Did I imagine that? I just saw a knight, like... Patrolling or walking around here? I didn't make that up. Great dragonfly head. Ah, oh, yeah. there he is. I was like, where the fuck is that guy? There you are. Or is this a different one? I was like, how did you get over there so quick? Look at this guy. Ooh, that's a lot of health. That's a lot of health there, son. Oh, he's guard countering me and it worked! That is a lot of health there, boy. Whoa!
Whoa! Okay, lightning blade. <laughs> Dude. Double hit! Holy shit! He got me with the strike and then the lightning. Impressed. Impressive. He's got a lot of health on him too. Alright, maybe I'll try being off my horse. Maybe I'll try being off my horse. Obviously when you die, then time passes even faster, so now it's just kind of skipped us to that nightfall. Let's get a backstab on him instead. That's strong, though, for just random boy out here. Oh, I love it when it's like dusk and it's raining. That's really cool. Oh, you fucking... Of course you've reached the end of your walking cycle. Oh! His sword is a one-hit kill! That would explain it. I'd been surviving a couple of hits where I actually thought it was fine, but obviously he'd been hitting Torrent. So this knight is a one-hit kill. Maybe maybe this is an area that we probably should be in then, considering the nature of that whole one-hit KO scenario. How much damage do you reckon we'll do to him on a backstab? I'm curious how much damage we could do to him on a backstab. An amount. <laughs> no, and my runes were right there. That's fine. <laughs> All right, maybe later. Uh, maybe later. So let's not take that guy on, uh, but. I'm gonna mark him for later. <laughs> we'll mark him for later. Tough boy. Pretty easy to uh, do damage to him with a couple of strong attacks, but he does kill you in one hit. So we'll we'll, uh, we'll be back, sir. Don't you forget about me, because I won't forget about you. Now we just need to see what kind of area this is. So we've got some greenery, we've got a forest, we've got some ruins. Let's have a look. Oh, it's another mariner. Which means we're going to get more of the death route. There's not, there's no more of that. Oh, it's, it's a boss too. Okay. Uh, Tibia Mariner. Cool. I don't think D is going to have any more dialogue for us in relation to this because he wants us to go to... He wants us to go to the beast guy. Beast man. Beast clergyman, that's the one. So cool, man. Uh, okay, I stance broke him, but I don't know. I don't know where to attack him. <laughs> Just keep they just keep coming anyway. This is some cool music, unlike that dragon kin boss fight. What happened to that music? Where's the water? Where's more water? Where are you? You mariner. Where are you, boy? 
Oh, you're... okay. You don't need to be on water then, apparently. <laughs> he's... he's swimming on grass! Yeah, fuck. He doesn't even... what? How big is the boss arena? Where is he? Get back on the water, man. Get back where you belong. Yeah, back in the water. Just easier to do this fight on horse. He just looks like a like a, a ride at like a showgrounds or like Disneyland where you ride a boat and it goes wee. We're up in the air, big splash. Ow! Oh god. He's are you stuck on a tree there. Do you want me to rescue you? Enemy felled. Yes, we get some more death root. Ooh, skeletal bandit ashes, nice. So I'm assuming this this death root will be able to give it to this beast clergyman or something, maybe. We'll have to find out. Okay. So we've got uh, skeletal mission uh, militia men, but now we've got the bandit. This is the spirit of a bandit who lives in death and will continue to rise again until properly finished off. After the night of the plot, Deathroot appears in the land between and those who live in death soon followed. Okay. Eradicate the Deathroot. Win the war. What is the significance of Little Hole? Little Hole. This isn't... I was like, this looks like it could have been the hole where Alexander was, but I know, I obviously know that we rescued him in a completely different location. Ah, this is my hole now. My hole under the grace of the Erd tree. Uh, I got a blue ball. Blue balls. Get that FP restoration. Ooh, have we been down? We have not been down here. Hold on. Oh, because, hang on. There's a pot down there. I can't see very far. There's a little, little village and there's a grace point down there. There's a pot. Another one. See, isn't it funny though? I was like, look, that's a hole that like Alexander could have been in, that we we freed him from one in Limgrave, but then I look down there, and then there's another pot. What if he was another pot that was sat in here, and managed to break free, and then fell down all the way down the bottom there? It doesn't Cause I remember we went down this path, but it was blocked by the bridge, so we need to go down a different way, which I'm assuming is actually around here. If not, I don't know how to get down there. Yeah, how the fuck do we get... How do we get down? Because it was... It was blocked. Um... It was definitely blocked on the other side, because we... I did try to explore down here. But it looks like... Considering that there's the path there... Hmm... It does look like you could just go right through. Oh fuck. Alright. We'll try that... I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna try that again. Hold on. Let's go back here. Because that's bugging me now. Because I swear that we... I swear that we've already checked. Maybe I... Maybe I didn't check it thoroughly enough. 
more properly. So... Oh, yeah, because... Yeah, no, I, we did, because look. Fucking... There's no way across. Unless it's an invisible bridge. Alright, ready? Invisible bridge. Oh, uh, we've got just the item for this. Not an invisible bridge. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to get across there. So that is what I thought. We're going to have to figure that out too. I don't know. Right, I'm going to run back up here so we can go this way. And clean out this area. I don't know how to get down. So there's no... It doesn't look like there's a safe way to get down on one side. And then it doesn't look like that there's a safe way to navigate across a, uh, a gap either. Which makes it quite curious. Alright, we're going to run up here. Hello, wolves. Hello. I should check back in, um... I should check back in with, uh, Kenneth Height as well. Uh, his little... Uh, his little Bloodborne house. And see if, if he's, uh... If he's done anything new with his life lately. Ascend. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Damn it. I just want to take my horse in places that it shouldn't be able to go. Okay. I thought considering that this was like a... Oh, fuck off, crab. <laughs> I was like, considering that this was like a forest location, there might be something in here. Not when it's a fucking crab. You do not have my interest. <laughs> I'm going to respectfully decline. Okay, this is where we just were. This is the same type of gravestones that it looks like appear when um, you need to find a painting. Ooh, what is this? Starlight shards. Okay, we've got those before, which is a uh, prized item that was once used in the Eternal City of an ingredient. It's like half of a half of a thing. Interesting. So a lot of wolves. This is just the wolf lands, apparently. Cool. In that case, we can proceed up our path this way, go back to Eastern Tableland. So we've got to come back here to figure out how to eventually cross that gap, and then we'll try and kill that <laughs> uh, that tough knight. Oh, the flame chariot respawns, huh? It respawns. You're really going to do me like that? Okay. I'm going to leave it alone this time then. We got a scripted fire monk death, like a body that just stays here. I saw you. I saw you. I'll leave you alone. If you leave me alone. This is your forest. I am but a visitor in these parts. I understand you're aggressive towards me. I'll, I'll leave you alone in due time. For I must explore. As always. Alright, we're going to leave this fire chariot alone, as terrifying as it is. What's going on here? Flag bearers. What 
What's up here then, team? What do we got? Oh, we got another one of these. Lovely. And some grace. Awesome. Let's get another story from the big sword, shall we? The Second Leonian War. No victory for the Golden, nor for the Moon. No prize but atonement, the birth of a vow. Watch this be the Church of Vows, then. That we can take at the Mountain Dew to. Church of Vows? Church of Vows. You know what's really cool? <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Oh my fucking god, it's a Pope Turtle. Turtle Pope. Turtle Pope! I was gonna say, you know what's really cool? When you actually, like, take in all of the notes and, like, the story around you that you can actually walk to a location and correctly guess its name. That's cool. What I would never have guessed, however, is that the Church of Vows would be ho housing the Pope himself. Hello there. Um... I respectfully give you this ring. I respectfully give you this ring. So this is where we can come for atonement to the giant, uh, the giant turtle lord. I don't have like a praying, I do have a praying one. I do have a prayer. Here we go. It'd be nice if you could talk while you were gesturing. <laughs> I pray. To our turtle lord, as I wear my turtle shell. You are tarnished, aren't you? <laughs> I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel. Muriel? Steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Well, judging by the big sword outside, something to do with the Second War of Leonia. It would be nice if I could actually answer with something because I read the lore thing on the sword, but that's okay. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined. By the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radigan and Renala of the Full Moon. Oh, wow. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses. The Erd Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Oh, cool. So Radagon is related to the Erd Tree side of things and then Renala is related to the moon side of things and they both came together in holy matrimony um and then they joined together that's so cool so radagon at the capital and renala at the academy of rea lucaria that's really fucking cool oh was there something you needed oh nothing from you You're free to show yourself around <sighs> i would serve as your guide only my legs aren't what they used to be <laughs> If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction. In which case, I will share all that I know. He's so polite! Muriel, okay, pastor of... Uh, he's the pastor. The pastor. The pastor of vows. Oh, we can show him a celestial Jew. So that's how we can be like, hello. I haven't antagonized anybody. So we're okay, except for the person whose face that I'm wearing. <laughs> Study sorcery. Magic, glint blade, and carrion greatsword. An old sorcery of the carrion royal family creates a sigil overhead from which an enemy seeking glint blade appears after a brief delay. This sorcery can be used while in motion. Charging increases the delay. Said to be the prototype of the sword phalanx sorceries wielded by royal enchanted knights. Conjures a magic greatsword and then delivers a sweeping blow. 
can cast it repeatedly. Armed with this spell, sorcerers gain the strength of knights, the loyalty sworn to the moon. That's cool, man. I can't wait to be like a magic knight sorcerer thing in another playthrough. That'd be, that's going to be so that's going to be so much fun. Uh, study incantations has blessings boon. Blessing to self and nearby allies. One of the ancient Erd Tree incantations grants a blessing to the caster and nearby allies, gradually restoring HP. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. Blessings once fell like tears from the Erd Tree, and this incantation is but a lingering remnant of their power. So, incantations being inherently tied to the power of the Erd Tree outside of the heretical incantations, and then the sorceries being held the, to the magic of Rare Lucaria, the moon. That's so cool. I'm going to show you the Celestial Dew. Check my Mountain Dew out, Giant Turtle. Do you possess any Celestial Dew? Then I would like to share my knowledge with you. Concerning the miracle of this Church of Vows, Radigan once cleansed himself with Celestial Dew, repented his territorial aggressions, and swore his love to Renala, the Order of the Erdry, and the fate of the moon were conjoined, and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond, however strained or severed, to its rightful state of harmony. That's so cool. So obviously, like, tells us, like, tells us what we need. My faith does not waver. The miracle rooted in these grounds will once again mend the world. And this time, its bounty will not be squandered. If you would be Elden Lord, tarnished, I hope that you too will share my faith. About Radigan and about the miracle. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan? Yes, please. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, mm. taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. Okay, so Radigan is the second Elden Lord after Godfrey and second husband. Keyword second husband of Queen Marika. This dude fucks. He married two queens. Queen Renala and Queen Marika. Imagine marrying the Queen of the Moon and then Queen Marika and just going, you know what? I'm just getting married to royalty, baby. Radigan. What a chad. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Erdtree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. Ooh, hold on. There's something, okay. Radigan statue? Secret? Question mark? Um, a skeleton in Radigan's closet? Interesting. You know, it said that How about a secret? Sculptor of the Earth Tree when he glimpsed the skeleton in and as such, it said... Interesting. Alright, if we find a Radigan statue, we need to apparently, uh, check that shit out. Uh, about Renala. You wish to know more of Lady Renala? Yes, please. She is queen head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her, and then, 
When the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. Okay. So she's currently chilling out in the library. In the end, Lady Renala was left alone, cradling the amber egg Lord Radigan bequeathed her. All oh, right, the now egg. Now she devotes herself to it through forbidden rite, the grim art of reincarnation. You would do well to remember, severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. Now, I think I remember this. Uh, Renala is not a demigod herself, uh, but it's something to do with the egg, I think, because when we were speaking to Gideon, the all-knowing, and he spoke to us about... Uh, he was speaking to us about all of them. He was saying that... Uh, I th he was saying that it's got something to do with the egg. That's where the egg has come, the, has come back into play, um, tied to Renala. So that's cool. So I've written that down as well. We're getting into we got some more spicy lore from the from the lore turtle. He looks like he could be voiced by Bill Nye, and it would just fit. Don't you don't you think? To experience the miracle, kneel in the basin at the back and cleanse yourself with celestial dew. Absolution will be yours. Any bond, no matter how strained or even severed will be put to rights. I'm wondering, because it says, or severed, I'm wondering if that means people that are, could potentially be dead. Do you reckon if we, uh, if we used it, Ensha, Ensha, Enshi, what's her name again? Uh, the, the person whose face that I'm wearing, um, Ensha, the guard for Gideon, would she come, do you think she would come back to life? Could it, could it restore life that has been taken? Potentially. To experience the miracle, absolution will be yours. So maybe strained is like maybe the buildup of that aggression towards enemies, but then severing it is when they're straight up hostile towards you, not actually like dead though. You know, it's set a fame when he glim and as such. Okay, cool. Is there something else? No, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm wondering if we should uh, atone, even though technically we don't really need to, because I don't think no one's really hostile towards us right now. But I'm wondering if it might do something in terms of like a story thing or like a lore thing if we do it. Ooh, gold sewing needle and golden tailoring tools. Hold on a minute. That's an upgrade to what we had before. Special sewing needle for demigod attire. Sewing needle made of gold. Altered demigod attire. One of the tools brought by Radigan when he entered into marriage with Renala, queen of the full moon, and joined the carrion line. Tools brought uh, with the redhead Radigan when he married into the carrion line. With these, even demigod attire can be altered at a side of grace. That's cool. I figured we, like, I'm not planning on making anyone my, my enemy, uh, really, through just, like, attacking NPCs, because I don't really do that. So I'm going to atone just to see if something happens, because I, I don't see another reason why I would ever use the Celestial Jew, so... Ah. You don't need Absolution, because I'm pure of heart. Wonderful. Okay. So, never mind. Uh, we made a turtle friend. That's good. I'm going to round out this episode of... Elden Ring, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been uh, an absolute blast as usual, uh, experiencing the absolute magic of this game's open world. Once again, our plan is to move over this way. <laughs> so we'll see how we go, but we explored a whole bunch underground. We've still got more to do, I think. So what we're gonna try and do is do up here and then see if this ends up being a well uh, back underground. Also, so thank you so much for watching this episode of Elden Ring. Much appreciated as always, guys, and I'll see you next time.